a Newcastle United star and his mother are facing jail over a 90-second city bar brawl which blew up out of nowhere after men started bumping and grinding against his aunt in a club. Winger Rolando Aarons was on a night out with friends and family celebrating a birthday in the VIP area at night spot Lavello when trouble flared in the early hours. Newcastle Crown Court clubber Wesley Erskine, from the rival faction, suffered a nasty injury to his head after tables and bottles were thrown. Jamaican-born Aarons alongside five members of his party who were out that night in October 2016, were all due to stand trial on a charge of violent disorder. But before a jury was sworn, five of them, including Aaron's, pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of a fray, which carries a maximum jail term of three years. Aaron's, 22, his mother Joan Jacob, 46, his friends Jamar Collins, 22, and Callum Phillips, 23, and his cousin Garfield White, 23. All admitted a fray and will be sentenced in May. Judge Edward Bindloss said, The fact I am adjourning your cases and granting you bail and ordering a pre sentence report is no indication of the likely sentence. All options remain open, including an immediate custodial sentence. The court heard White is already a serving prisoner after being convicted of an unrelated violent attack. He hugged Aaron's at the end of the case. The others have been granted bail in the meantime and will be interviewed by the probation service for the preparation of a pre sentence report. Prosecutors dropped the case against another cousin, Sabrina White, 24, who the court heard acted as peacemaker on the night. Judge Bindloss said there would be no judicial criticism of the prosecution by the acceptance of the lesser charge. The judge said, Rolando Aarons and his friends and family were in town celebrating a birthday in Lavello in October 2016, with no indication of any trouble hitherto. CCTV shows the incident blew up out of nowhere and suddenly there is a melee involving numerous people. At the time of the incident a source told The Sun, he, Aarons, was having a great time. But, he noticed 8 to 10 blokes trying to bump and grind with his Andy on the dance floor. He went over and told them to stop. His view was that they'd had their fun and it was going too far. He made his views pretty clear and that's when all hell broke loose. They were throwing tables and bottles of champagne. There was blood everywhere by the end. There were girls falling about all over the place and people being trapped.